Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys something very, very cool, um, which is actually just an easy way to improve your game, okay? Now, um, I'm, I guess I'll just get right into it, but before I do, you're probably wondering like what game I'm in, and this is actually one of my games that I've been working on for quite a while, I don't want to leak too much, but it's kind of a survival game, as you can see, some of the assets are over there. Uh, so yeah, kind of cool. I'm not gonna show too much. If you guys do want me to show that, though, let me know. I, I might do that. Just leave a comment. But anyways, all right. So um, what this video is about? Okay. So basically, in this video today, I'm going to explain to you the easiest and most straightforward way to fix your game, or not fix your game, but make it look a lot better with a lot, uh, or not with not a lot of effort. Okay. Like seriously, this is the simplest thing. And the thing that sticks is a lot. Of, not a lot of people do this, right? A lot of people actually just miss out on this because they kind of just forget to do it or they don't really understand it too well and uh, it's okay I mean I'm not the best at it either but um, it's a pretty simple fix like I said so yeah if you guys help if this does help you out guys be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos I upload awesome you know like Roblox development videos like this all the time all right anyway so let's get right into it okay so first things first what is it okay it, it, it's very simple okay it's lighting you, you probably saw the thumbnail and title and or the, the thumbnail at least and as you can see like the the effects that lighting makes are insane. Let me go ahead and show you right now, okay? I have about four lighting effects here. I have a sky box, and then I have bloom, color correction, sun rays, okay? And this is honestly something I just kind of copy and paste to every game because it'll make my games look a lot better just with, like literally just copy and pasting it because like it's pretty simple. Um, but basically all I do is just put it in the lighting and then it does all the effects. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and show you guys what it looks like, okay? Now I know your eyes are gonna hurt because it's gonna be so ugly, but just <laughs> just uh, bear with me, okay? Um, but okay, here we go. So this is what it looks like without any lighting effects. Okay, that, that is just obviously so much worse, okay? And obviously the skybox is a big part of it, but like, just like, geez, like, it, like, it, it looks like literally so much worse. Now, all I have to do is press Control Z, and wow, my game looks a lot better. Now, you know, arguably, um, this is a personal preference. You can make your game however you want it to be, whatever feel you're trying to go for your game. Maybe if you want a scary game, obviously you want your game to be pretty dark or whatever. Um, but, you know, this is all up to you. But just know, you guys, you actually can change lighting, and it's very easy to do so, okay? So don't be intimidated by it, and uh, make sure you do, do at least some lighting changes, or else your game will look very bad, and it'll look like you just, like, you know, you don't really... I don't know, it won't look too bad, necessarily, but it's just a very easy way to improve it. And the thing is, people will just easily leave out like a lot of extra improvements on the table okay anyways so um, let me actually show you like, what are the few what are, what a few of the effects do in lighting okay so obviously you have stuff on here like fog okay you can mess with that if you want to um, but then you have like a time of day which basically is like where the Sun is at right so as you can see if I move the clock time down you can see the Sun actually starts moving around right and then as you can see there and now when, when it goes like right there it does this like cool little sun ray effect where like it turns like kind of orange i kind of like that to be honest it looks kind of cool but i probably wouldn't do it for my game but uh you know if you didn't want to make like a, a nighttime day cycle you can do this with lighting you just change the clock time for lighting by like 0 0.01 or something or 0 0.1 every you know five seconds something like that and then slowly the, the, the cycle will change and then there'll be nighttime and there'll be daytime you know it's really simple honestly people think it's really hard but it's not it's just kind of a while loop it's that it's that simple anyways so as you can see i can move the, move the sun whenever i want and if i move the sun all the way down uh i guess not i mean okay well i'm not moving the sun i guess but you know what i mean if i change the time to nighttime as you can see obviously it's, it's, it's nighttime there's a moon now so um yeah and then also, uh, let me go back to like 14, I think I was at. But there's something called uh, geographical lati or ge geographic latitude. And that's just kind of like where you are on Earth. And I mean, this isn't really Earth, but it, you'll see what it, you kind of see what it does. It kind of just moves the sun location around as well. Um, but yeah, it kind of moves it like more like this, like on this way, um, rather than like the time, which is like this way. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I don't like how it was. Though. I liked it how it was. All right, cool. So also, you have a lot of different lighting effects. Now, you can change the brightness and stuff like here. Uh, as you can see, there's like a brightness, and that's just kind of sh it just what it's like the sun's effect on brightness. Um, but I'll turn that down back to like two, and then you can change the exposure and stuff like that, uh, which does a lot to exposure composition. As you can see, it doesn't look very good like that, but uh, it does something. And if you mess with it slightly, it can actually look really good. But yeah. Um, one more thing I want to show you too is the legacy outlines and also shadows. You can turn off shadows pretty easily if you just hit global shadows and uncheck it. And it, it obviously looks really weird like this, so I definitely recommend keeping it on. Um, but yeah. Also, by default, I'm pretty sure um, like a base plate starts off as compatibility like this. And this does not look very good. Like in my opinion this does not look very good so it literally just change your lighting technology or like the framework of the lighting to shadow map and so much more easily it looks a lot better right it just 
10 times better. Um, and then, you know, you can change your uh, shaft so or shadow softness. So you can look at, like, you see the palm tree here? Look under there, and you can see, like, the, the how sharp the edges are now. Um, so, yeah, kind of cool how you can do that. But anyways, that's that. And then also you have ambient, which is like kind of like the ambient color. As you can see there, that's kind of changing. So yeah, kind of cool, I guess. But um, let's go into the actual lighting effects, which is probably the coolest part of this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and actually just put these all in replicated storage or something like that. Uh, I'll put it in replicated first. I'm just going to keep that there for now. And then I'll delete all the stuff. But um, first things first, get a skybox, okay? You can get one off the toolbox pretty easily. Just look up, you know, like whatever you want, like nice sky and pretty simple literally all you do is click on it there you go simple um but um that one isn't my favorite but anyways like the one I, the one i'm using i like a lot so i'm gonna keep that but then you can add lighting effects so as you can see if you hit this little plus button by lighting there's all lighting effects right here okay and um where are they at actually okay here it is post processing effects you have bloom blur color correction depth of field and if and and then sun rays effect. Now sun rays, it's a pretty simple effect. I'll explain that one first. It basically what it does is it just kind of adds like rays to your sun. So as you can see, you can see like the outline of it. It just kind of adds more rays. Um, and then also you can add this. You can change the spread of it, which is like does that. I guess I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but yeah, it does that. Um, so kind of cool. Uh, it's, it can look good sometimes if you play with the right. So definitely try that out if you want it. And then you got depth of field. Uh, or actually we'll just do a different one. Uh, you got Bloom, which basically, uh, I think it, what it, I don't really use this one to be honest with you guys, but I'm pretty sure what this one does is it kind of just like makes everything glow a little bit. Um, at least I think it's what it does on like Blender, so that should do the same. Um, well, let's see, I, I can't really see the, the exact effect it's doing, um, but it's probably doing something, I would assume, right? Yeah, I don't know. Play with that a lot. You, got, you really just kind of play with them, that's how you really figure out what they do. Um, but yeah, or you can look them up, I guess, but uh, another thing too is blur like this is how people make their like the backgrounds blurry when they have UIs right they just put a blur in the lighting and now I'm gonna be honest with you guys this looks I mean obviously not good because it's a blur but like some people will, like literally put like a blur in their game like at like one or something like that or at like two and it's just like a slight blur right but it, they think it makes it look better and I want to be honest guys I don't really like this effect personally but some people do so I mean if you guys like slight burst you can do it but it, it's just kind of weird to me I see people doing that a lot and it's just like I don't think it looks good but um I, don't know, I guess it's personal preference and it's your game you know do whatever you want but um yeah uh but yeah that's pretty much it honestly and then color corrections obviously it's just gonna change like the colors of the tint so that's kind of cool you can make yourself have a seizure i guess um sorry if you are broke like might want to stop watching probably should give you a warning anyways uh <laughs> okay so yeah that is that so if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below guys um that's just how lighting works now like i said you got to play with them there's really you know you got to play with them that's the easiest way to learn them but yeah, so if you guys don't, aren't doing this, all I'm going to say is you definitely need to. It's just the simplest way to improve your game, and um, it's just very easy, honestly. But yeah, also guys, I have one more quick announcement before the video ends. I'm going to be hosting a live stream, okay? I'm doing a live stream on this channel on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, okay, to 6 p.m. Eastern. And basically what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do like a Shark Tank thing. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Shark Tank before, but basically what it is, is it's this show. Uh, where people like come on and pitch their businesses to like these rich people or business people I guess and what they do is they actually if they think it's a good business they'll invest into it and they get a percentage of it or whatever um, but I'm going to do the same exact thing but with Roblox games so if you have a good Roblox game idea and you want someone to invest into it because you can't make it happen maybe you, you're, maybe you don't have a good scripter or maybe you don't have like a good builder or whatever and you can afford that um, maybe you need Robux to help you know, hire someone to do it for you. So go on that show and you can, prevent, you can present live. So if you want to be interested in that and you want to watch, just come to the channel um, on 6 p.m. or 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And if you want to actually be on the show um, yourself and actually be presenting or pitching your idea, just go ahead and fill out the form. It's in the description below. Uh, it's, it's called the Shark Tank Investor Form or something like that. Fill that out. Uh, it's going to be called the Road Tank. It's going to be very cool. And also, some of you guys are going to be able to join the game uh, and like watch and like a spectator's view. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably show some, some, some more sneak peeks when we get closer to it. But, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, peace.